Hey guys, I am Man and uh, we're on a Man Venture again. Uh, today we are going to do the mangrove walk in Jubail uh, Mangrove National Park in Abu Dhabi. And uh, yeah, basically behind me we've got the entrance uh, to this national park. So stick with us and let's see what we can find. So, where do all the big fish go when it's low tide? Well, obviously, needing water, most of your big fish actually moves out into deeper pools and ponds in the, um, in the mangroves, or alternatively, they actually move um, out into the ocean. The big thing about the um, mangroves is it's a perfect hatchery. So, most species of fish would actually come in here and they would lay their eggs and uh, when the small uh, fish are hatched, um, your fries basically, they have ultimate protection within the mangrove roots. It's sort of like a protective zone. Where, because obviously, again, because the big fish have to move out, that also means that large predatory fish um, also move out of the region. Okay. So, yeah. It's cool, man. Imagine he was crocodile though. Can you just? Yeah. Imagine, imagine you spot a saltwater crocodile. Hey. Okay, but it's it. What's the daughter? Wil jij een portret of een landscape? Hey guys, uh, in the ma um, mangroves, uh, Jubail National Park, um, and uh, these fantastic wooden walkways is actually a two kilometer and a one kilometer route that you can take through the mangroves. And uh, we are here currently at low tide. There's a nice little breeze coming through here, which is absolutely fantastic. And um, you can clearly see some very, very nice spots over here. You can stop, smell the roses. <laughs> and uh, the nice thing about it is you are absolutely surrounded by nature. And uh, I have to admit, it's, it's pretty spectacular. And there's a lot of uh, life going on around here. You know, uh, thinking that this is, after all, a desert. And these mangroves are like a huge lung uh, in this desert environment. It brings some greenery to the environment and it's an amazing spot. We've seen hundreds of little fish um, of all shapes and sizes and colors. And um, also not only that, but there are hundreds of little crabs coming out and 
and it's fascinating to see them and what they get up to. Um, and I think for, for, I think it was 10 dirham, 10 or 15 dirham, uh, it is just a fantastic morning activity. Grab your backpack, pack some cool drinks and uh, take a nice walk around. Uh, I think it is one of those have to do things in Abu Dhabi. So yeah, let's continue our man venture. Basically, the little walkway on top of the mangroves. Quite nice. Came around here. And uh, we continue our little walk up towards this side. And as you can see, beautiful mangroves on each side. Just phenomenal. Just an absolute abundance of life. So, one of the nice things uh, yeah, at the mangroves is when it is high tide, they've got these nice little spots over here where you can actually sit with your feet in the water. So there's no railing over here. And um, very, very simple. On this nice viewpoint over here, just come and have a cup of coffee or have your snack that you brought with you. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's actually ridiculous to think that if you go that way, you'll find... Uh, the Yaz Marina circuit and you if you go that way you find uh, Abu Dhabi mainland and here we are standing in the middle of a gigantic mangrove forest it's something ridiculous like a million square meters or I don't know it's I'll have to double check that fact but um, pretty pretty cool <laughs> Yeah, one of the nice things here is they've got these fantastic uh, viewpoints. This is about three different levels where you get different perspectives of the mangroves. And uh, again, <laughs> the people in Abu Dhabi have absolutely outdone themselves. Um, this is just absolutely sublime, walking around and checking out the mangroves from inside the mangroves, over the mangroves. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty spectacular. You should definitely do this. Remember your hat, remember your glasses, and remember some water.
and then out of the blue you walk around a corner and you get a super open section in the mangroves and this is just absolutely insane uh, it, it looks like somebody went in here cut off all the trees it's, it's almost like a little desert zone um, if you've ever been to Namibia especially the northern parts you often get zones like this it made me think of it and it's basically you've got semi bush felt area and then you'll just drive through a certain section and it opens up dramatically um, yeah just looking for a black back jackal running through there <laughs> but epically epically cool um, again I would advise anybody that comes to Abu Dhabi especially in the winter time now uh, the temperatures are quite moderate I have to admit it is uh, half past nine in the morning um, and the temperature is definitely picking up but it remains absolutely calm and beautiful and there's a lovely little breeze going about um, so yeah come out come and do it Tuki <laughs> Tuki. That bird has a name. Its name is Bull. <laughs> Bull is minding his own business. Be like Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, um, if you look behind me, uh, you can see the mangroves and the really, really cool thing about it is the fact that you can actually see the high water mark, you know, when the, when the tide does come in, you can actually see that on the leaves um, because it is salt water, <laughs> obviously, it has salt in it and all the water that goes onto the leaves, the water that stays behind on it, leaves some of the uh, salt on it. So you can clearly see the white little line on well, let me just see there we go you can see the white line on the green leaves at the bottom of the mangroves which i think is, is <laughs> it's actually pretty cool to see so yeah hopefully we can come back here when it is high tide and all of these exposed zones would then obviously be covered in water but i think uh, for me i would love to see uh, what type of wildlife then uh, that you can then actually see on these sort of like open flats because currently all the little all the little fish everything is heavily concentrated in the deeper water pools and little channels that you have seen throughout this video so uh, yeah I think we'll definitely make a plan to come back here during high tide but we'll keep you updated Well, I managed to forget to do an outro after the Jubail Mangrove Park walk um, and when I was busy editing my little man venture, I realized, oh my gosh, you never signed out, you never signed off. So this is me signing off. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the footage and the little uh, man venture that I took on the Jubail Mangrove uh, Park. 
Um, if you want to come and visit it in Abu Dhabi or if you're in the area, uh, please check the link in the description below. Um, also, if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell button. And uh, yeah, come and join me on my next adventure. Uh, hope to see you all soon. Cheers.